Welcome back to the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. Well, we're going to go to David Ward. He's from the Wimmer O'Malley News Group, and we speak with him quite often here on Flow FM. We've got a sports update to get from him on the show tonight. This relates to the district tennis competition, and we're going to get a bit of a Japarit Storm update as well. And it's great to now bring in David Ward. David, how are you? Well, it's that crazy time of year. Christmas is coming, and uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty flat out. And uh, yeah, we've uh, been flat out keeping the news of the day up to uh, the readers of the, of the Argus and the Banner. Well, first item on the agenda, David, is talking about the tennis competition. So bring us up to speed on the latest updates you've got for us from that competition. Yeah, well, the last round of the uh, 20, uh, 2022 uh District Tennis uh, Association season saw top four teams all claim victories and colours consolidate their placings on the top of the ladder. Warrantonville, Antwerp, Rainbow and Brim all claim strong wins to round out the 2022 season. We'll head into the Christmas harvest break with a big lead on the rest of the field. Um, um, the uh, the overall score for Rainbow was five uh, match points, 18 sets, 134 games to Japarat zero, uh, two sets and 43 games and the the uh, other Friday night uh, game saw Antwerp host to uh, Dimboula. Antwerp were the stronger team on the night with a mixed winning um, four sets, 33 games. Dimboula, one set, 22 games. And uh, on Saturday, Warwick was host to Arcona and Warwick won their match three sets, 24 games to Arcona. Arcona, one set, 12 games. And uh, um, the final match for the weekend saw Brim host Hopeton in a uh, rather close context. And Brim mixed won their matches, two sets, 18 games to Hopeton, two sets, 16. And the Brim uh, men showed uh, all round excellence. And uh, so um, the new year uh, round level will keep a kickoff on the 3rd and 4th of February in the new year in 2023. David, there's going to be three coaches in charge at the Japarit Rainbow Storm Footy Club. This is a pretty unusual one. Tell us more. Yeah, well, um, all the clubs in the region have uh, been uh, quite proactive in their recruiting and uh, the Japarit Rainbow Football Netball Club has announced a trio of coaches for the 23 uh, Storm Under-17 team. Tong Long will be uh, joining forces with fellow seniors uh, Tom Schumann and seniors reserve player uh, Matt Tomo Thomas in the joint coaching panel for the 23 under 17 team. And the 2022's under 17 coach Matt Campbell said they struggled for numbers all season, relied heavily on players from Doom Bula Roos and the Rainbow Japarit under 14 team to put a team on the field each week. And Long has extensive experience coaching young teams to victory, coaching the Darwin youngsters. and taking last year's under-14 team to its first ever finals appearance in the Horsham District League, with the uh, team winning their first finals game to uh, finish fourth on the ladder and teaming up Long's experience of the first time enthusiasm from Schumann and Thomas with a number of under-14 boys following their coach up to the under-17s. The club's looking forward to uh, an improved showing by the team next year. Welcome back to the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. Well, we're going to go to David Ward. He's from the Wimmer O'Malley News Group, and we speak with him quite often here on Flow FM. We've got a sports update to get from him on the show tonight. This relates to the district tennis competition, and we're going to get a bit of a Japarit Storm update as well. And it's great to now bring in David Ward. David, how are you? 